Okay, uh, in this video I thought I'd show you how we can uh, shift letters by a certain amount. So maybe an E become, uh, or an A becomes an E, a B becomes an F, that sort of thing. Um, there's loads of different ways of doing it. So this kind of, um, there'll be a few, few videos on this, uh, exploring different methods. The first method I'm going to use is actually using a dictionary. Um, now if you're not familiar with dictionaries, they work in a similar way to this. So, well, they work like this, not similar. I'm going to show you how they work. Um, so I'm going to have a dictionary called, uh, shopping. And in here I'm going to have a key. Um, so the, the thing with dictionary is that you have a key and then you have a value. If you type in the key it returns the value. So here's an example. So I'm going to have a shopping list and I'm going to have apple in here and apple is going to return four because I've got four apples in my shopping list. I'm going to have an orange and I'm going to have two oranges in here. So that's my shopping list. Very small shopping list. If I type in shopping it returns everything. If I type in shopping and then apples or apple rather it returns the, the the actual value. So Apple is the key in this case, and it returns the value, which is four. Likewise, if I do shopping and orange, it returns the value of two. Okay, so let's use that to my advantage. Um, we, in terms of uh, this um, activity, so I've got here a dictionary uh, called letters, and basically. A here is the key and the value is E. Same thing with B and then F. All right, so the first thing I want to do is get an input from the user. So we'll call that message and we're going to say that's an input. Uh, it's going to be enter your message. All right, <clears throat> now, uh, same thing as before. I'm going to be, as, I, as I'm looping through the message, I'm going to be uh, appending um, the return key to, an, uh, to a new string. So let's call that string encrypted. So it's going to be an empty string. So now we want to create our loop. So for letter in message. So for each letter in message, um, I want to first of all check to see if the letter in the message is actually in the uh, dictionary. So um, if letter in letters so remember this is the name of the dictionary so if it is um, in fact I want to make sure they're uppercase as well because my dictionary is in uppercase so if letter dot upper in letters then uh, encrypted plus equals the uh, equivalent letter so we're going to use letters and then use letter because that's the remember this is the key Again, we're going to do upper. I've saved myself some time. I'd have to type upper in all the time. Let's just do, let's just stick dot upper here at the end. So message becomes uppercase regardless. So if the letter is found in letters, then append um, the, uh, the, the value of the original letter. If it's not there, so for example, if someone types in a space, um, else, we'll just keep it the same for now. Encrypted plus equals the original letter. And that, that is it. So let's print the encrypted version of the word at the end. So let's see what happens. Oh, I better save it. Uh, we'll call this, um, let's call it encryption with a dictionary. Okay. We'll run this. Okay, so enter your message. Hello world. And hello world is returned with that. So if we wanted to go the other way around, we'd have to create a dictionary um, which had the opposite of these. So the key E would become an A, etc. And then we could just run the same sort of thing using the other dictionary to reverse it. Give it a go and see how it turns out. 